America. Make sure. <laughs> Wait a second. Shoot him, Elizabeth. Oh, oh yeah. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him out of here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mary, you got the shotgun ready there. All right. Here, let's get him now. Just got to get him in a position where I'm not going to... All right, so we are here at the chambers for the reptile room tour part two. I know you guys like the other room tour that I did over here, so I hope you guys enjoy this one because I heard they got some new stuff and I heard they have more bearded dragons and sand. So we're going to definitely find out if that's true. Yo, yo! Oh man, we got two big dogs. Yeah. Hey, how, do we call yeah. girls big dogs too or no? Oh, they're big dogs. We're all big dogs. <laughs> right? Huh? That, that really is a big dog right there, though. <laughs> All right, Eric, so thank you very much, man, for inviting Dude, me over again no for another problem, reptile man. room. Oh, God, what's going on? Oh. Did you just step on that Jeez. little dog, Samson? Oh. Don't okay. worry, I'll get him for that. <laughs> We're good. All right, again, thank you, brother. So Dude, let's no get worries. going. Yeah, let's go inside and check it out, man. Well, let's start off with the bunnies like last time. Oh, the bunnies, yeah. Oh. I actually got the slow cooker going right now, so I, I hope you brought your appetite. I'm just kidding. It's very cold here in Michigan, so uh, we had to move them in the garage. It was like, uh, it was about negative 40 one night. They're in there. Don't you worry. They're in there. They're doing great. They're doing <laughs> All right. Really good. All right. <laughs> All right, so here's where we started off last time, and could you let us know what the heck happened over here, dude? Dude, we sold out, man. We sold no, I'm just kidding. It was a really nice uh, display case that we had, but we had had it for a little over a year. We just kind of wanted to move all the animals down in the basement, kind of free up the living room, get some painting and stuff down up here. So, so you collecting bikes now? What is an orange oh, yeah. dream? You know what? <laughs> Mary is so mad at me because I won't put this out in the garage. You can't put this thing no. out there. This thing's way so, too nuts. Nice. What is this? Orange dream. Oh yeah, a little orange um, dream. Pastel. Sunset, little yeah. green there. Yeah, so. I'm digging it. Now, could you do tricks? Can't do any tricks. I can go down a hill pretty fast because I got the weight. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> yeah. let's get to the reptiles. Yep, you got it. Voila! All right, Here brother. We are. So where do you want to start at? Well, I guess we can just kind of start right here. I, I think, it, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting fish and frogs if they don't, and everything. If they don't, make sure, you know. Please follow the real Eric Chambers, okay? And then we and got- And hey, yo, lizard lady. But if we had to follow one person, probably just follow you. It's just me, yeah. yeah Mary's not as sure. important. She is definitely <laughs> a, a keystone to it all, but you know. <laughs> and guys, I'm gonna put their information on the description down below like I do with everyone. Start here. Now, uh, we've been experimenting with the old marine thing and it's been up and down, up and down. We lost a few fish. We kind of gained some fish back here. Like when you lost, like they just like ran uh, away? They just weren't in there one day. You know what? We had starfish and stuff in there. And I don't know, we had this really cool fuzzy dwarf lion fish, okay? And we came in one day and the starfish was eating it. I don't know if it died during the night. I don't know if it was sleeping and the starfish went on. Took the starfish out. We have just these kind of simpler fish in here. A little saddle Toby Puffer. Where's Puff Daddy uh, at? Dude, Puff Daddy, he's in heaven, okay? Oh, so God. pour some liquor out. <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. He was All our water parameters were good. With these marine fish, it could be really difficult. We've had really good luck with this group so far. So we're keeping our fingers crossed, keeping them fed, and they're doing really well. So awesome. you start these tanks out, you're gonna have so many algae blooms, things like that. But eventually it'll get better and clear up. So as it has no filtration did. system. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe that's what they've been talking about, huh? But, anyway, uh, so you know, now that we're done with all like the aquatic stuff, yeah. I heard you have a teagle that has a setup like freaking Hugh Hefner. Dude, this thing is that true? He's big balling. We were so lucky. These people reached out to us. The girl was pregnant. They were getting married, or they might have been married. I can't really remember. They couldn't take care of him anymore, so we had the pleasure of taking him in. Mary was a little hesitant. But he was just so nice, and they must have spent so much time with this guy. He's he's super nice. You want to check it out? Yes. Bam! No, huh? this is a setup. Dude, this is a setup right here. Now listen, you know, Whoa. Eric. What does that little say little in the back right there? Hold on. Oh, that's a yeah. reefer, like like reefing, like reef tank. Oh, it's got it. <laughs> but uh, this is our tegu here. We named this guy Sarge. I'm going to tell you the truth. I can't even remember what his name was, was before. Chewy. Oh, it was Chewy. Chewy. But this guy, he's so nice. I think he's slightly obese. They definitely did take good care of him, feeding him and Dude, stuff. These chicks look like but, mine uh, after a good night out. <laughs> yeah, I know. So as you can tell, he's, he's a real chunky little guy. But like I said, he is just so tame and so nice. I mean, he is literally the chillest. These make the best pets, man. They Dude, just sit there and eat. I love the setup. I mean, yeah, he has it's really everything. Cool. I know people might think, oh my gosh, this is really hokey. We've got his no. moist kind of spot over here, moist damp spot. 
He's got rocks. Dude. He's got all kinds of stuff. You put me in here and I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. All right, Eric, before we get to all that goodness that I just showed right now, you need to pull out some big snakes. It's Dude, not a vlog or a reptile room tour without any big snakes. Yep, and this is the thing. I want to keep it a secret. I'm building a huge enclosure for our big snakes. That's going to be for our chambers tour part Number three. Trace. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it, guys. They're just playing with some big snakes and they big couch. snakes. That's right? what I like to do every day. I come <laughs> home, sit down, get a couple big snakes out. <laughs> <laughs> big snake for some big dogs. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, that's All right, right, Eric. So what do you have? What are you holding? Okay, starting off here, we actually let me just kind of get her out of there because she'll pull this aquarium right down to the ground. Right. Tell you what. <laughs> you there, we go. there we go. So right here, let me let me stand up. Because it is true what they say. These dwarfs definitely move around more than kind of your main ones do. This is our platinum female. She's a 50% Jampia. And uh, she's getting pretty dude, thick. We've had so these, uh, dude, isn't she beautiful? Just a platinum, but I absolutely yeah. love these things, Look at man. That face. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. Can we sit to the round real quick. Choke me up. <laughs> now show me what you're working with. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Oh. That is beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah, no, she's absolutely beautiful. She's trying to kill me right now. But uh, you have life insurance on him, Mary? <laughs> Not yet, but I will. Oh, she get will him soon. Get yeah, him get him off. Get yeah, him yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. we, we've actually been pairing these two together. So this is Sonny. Why don't you tell him about Sonny, nice. Mary? Yeah, he's a lavender albino. So why did you guys name him Sonny? So yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Every, he's a uh, super dwarf snake. dwarf cross. Wow. Let me see. Turn around. Now, so, you show me what you're working with. No, I was saying. Dang. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> you got one for free from my God, I, I love you, bro. Oh, this guy is like. The reason why I was doing that, guy's probably because the snakes were behind me. Yeah, so. of course. Because, uh, of course. This guy's like five years old, and she's about two. So you could kind of see the size difference. Come over here a little bit more. Oh my gosh, He's dude, super nice. You can like grab his tongue. Beautiful. Dude, yeah. he super is nice. a puppy dog, man. He is definitely one of our nicer snakes that we have. Wow. Uh, I always bring this one out for the nieces and nephews and the cousins. Next that time come you over. do that, have the kids play with some rabbits first and then yeah, have them hold it. Yeah, definitely. I, I make sure just to get the full experience. <laughs> right? Okay. All right, guys, thank you very much. Dude, now no let's problem. move on to the other stuff. Gotcha. All right, so you know, last time you were getting a lot of heat because. Uh, no, but it's okay. The sand on the bearded dragon. So it's okay. I know you're a big sand and bearded dragon type of guy, so is it okay definitely. if I show them? You just show them, bud. All right. We put them on carpet. Okay? Yeah. You don't like sand? We got them carpet. No, I'm just kidding. This is carpet kind of print. This is just like a linoleum here. And uh, that's a little sparky down there. What are you doing? What's that Dude. camera doing in your head, huh? He is amazing. Yeah, he is really cool. That is Mary's little Could you uh, pull him out right for us there. real quick? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, no, as you can tell, like I, I like to tell people, it seems like bearded dragons shed in pieces. So yeah, here do. we got his tail, to. his legs are going, but right now his back's kind of open. Or you and, can just uh, a new uh, type of uh, pipe. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Gotta make Show some money right there, there, Eric. You you messed up, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too honest for my own good, right? <laughs> but no, we absolutely love the bearded dragons. Uh, you know, we did put them on the linoleum. I understand people were upset. They have the best intentions, though. They're worried about the animals. I just feel really bad because you can't dig now. You know what I mean? Bro, I would have laid some hands <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Man, now that thing lives like that tegu. Yeah, like I know. That. We try and uh, get the best little enclosures. Man, got, this, is, this is top. Look at this. Oh, yeah. All right. Top bring notch. that bad only, boy out. Only the best. Let's get her <laughs> out. Now, it might take me a couple tries. Just kind of work with me here. She's not like Nova at the Reptarium, I'll tell you that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was really lucky. Wow. But uh, we got her probably, what, a year ago? And as kind of like a rescue, someone had to turn her into us, couldn't take care of her anymore. A little bit rough looking in the face, but she has gained so much weight. Oh, you can see she's starting to oh, yeah, my bad. Okay. kind of hood up. Cool. You're okay, you're okay. Throw her back she's in there. Just, throw her yeah, back yeah, in. Throw, yeah, yeah, <laughs> throw yeah. But we, we absolutely love her. We're hoping to get her to size. I want to throw her in with Nova, man, and get some uh, baby frillies. I think that'd oh, yeah. be sweet. Speaking of babies, do you guys have any baby geckos? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sweet, guys, come on, bring some out, bring some out. I just saw another bearded dragon. I'm afraid because it might be on sand. 
<laughs> Just saying. Yeah, wholesale, baby. Oh my I've gosh. got plenty of this carpet tile. You call Eric up if you want some. <laughs> I got it by the by the bolt load here. And what's this guy's name? That's little oh, oh, snap. Do you remember? That's that bearded dragon I had upstairs. That is would that the one that was biting and try to attack you? That was. I mean, she's a little more feisty, but look how look how nice she is oh, now. She is pretty. She's pretty nice. We got her upgraded to this forty gallon, which she'll like live in forever here. And uh, she's doing a lot better. I, for whatever reason, when we moved her downstairs, she just kind of quit jumping and biting at us, so. That's cool. Yeah, she's turned out to be a nice little Just lizard. so you guys know, that's the one that was in sand for quite a while, to be honest, and yeah. it's super healthy and perfectly fine. Just yeah. throwing that out. You know what, I just want to say, they love to dig, man. Yeah. They, they like to dig, and especially with a female that we have upstairs in our bedroom, you know, they, they need to lay those eggs no matter what. Spit and I know you're we supposed to keep like a box in there, you know what, as long as that you're monitoring them and making sure the sand's not getting in their nose and their eyes, you feed them on a plate, you're good to go. I know a lot of people say otherwise and I'll probably get a lot of stuff for it, but. Leave them head. You, you gotta, you gotta be a true gangster. Mm -hmm. Fight it. Oh, snap. I'll grab right. it. I'll have my way with you. Okay. okay, first one here, I'm gonna kind of be pulling them out. This one is a pinstripe we have and I think oh it's gonna be gosh. a tricolor as well. That one's beautiful. Look at Mary's eyes. Have you guys seen Mary's eyes? Look at those things. Mm -hmm. I know why you Almost got her. staring into him. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, we're losing one. This is our whiteout right here. He's a little bit fired up. Now this is going to be a Dude, razor. Your beard is fired up. Dude, it is a <laughs> fire crotch. Uh, we, uh, this is our whiteout here. This is going to be another razor. Too small to determine whether it's a male or female yet. But uh, we picked this one up at the show not too long ago. Beautiful. So real quick, before we see some more beautiful stuff. You guys sell these little baby geckos? Yes, we do. They're okay. all for sale on BHB. Perfect. Reptiles, so yeah. So this one was just born a couple days ago. See, it's still oh shedding its gosh. first little sh uh, shed. This one is the very first gecko that we hatched, and this oh one just gosh. hatched the other day. So this Can is several months old. That is so cool. We just got some little uh, cresties. Dude, it's they're so great. Cool. They're so they're so cool. The kids love them and stuff. Hold on. Which one is that? Because I want to show them that polydactyl. This is the polydactyl. Yeah, we so you guys have a pterodactyl? I wish, man. Even better, a polydactyl crested gecko. Now, what that means is it's born with an extra toe on the back foot there. Now, I don't, these guys move around so much. I don't know if you can see on this foot, especially, there's an extra toe right on the very end. Oh yeah, got it. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Nice. How weird is that? I don't know. I don't know if that has to do with incubation or what that really it's has to anomaly. do with. It's uh, an anomaly. But look at look at this thing, man. I, I absolutely. This is probably one of my favorite babies. Polydactyl baby. These are the. This is the parents. Dude. This is the daddy. This is the mom. Remember when we were little? Or oh, I don't know if you guys were little. You guys used to play. This is the mommy. <laughs> this is the dad. <laughs> no? I don't remember that one. <laughs> Child abuse, child abuse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so now that it's completely wrapped up over this, yeah, it's gonna be a little hard to bring it out. So yeah. let's just see if we get a close up of it. Oh my gosh, that's just good enough right there. Don't even worry about it. Dude, you really don't get any better than that, wow. man. We love this thing. That is a, dude, look at that. You Ooh. sure you don't want it back? Right? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just found out because of Mary. Thank you, Mary. That they have a Toke Gecko. And if you guys didn't watch already, Noah's uh, vlog, you guys saw that the Toke Gecko really got me. See? Start right there. War <laughs> wounds. So, you know, Eric decided to be a good sport and pull out this Toke Gecko and show us how I, I couldn't do nothing. it. So. <laughs> You better shine it through the cage. I'll feel it back, but be careful. This thing's the pit bull reptiles right here. He's a big old Oh one. my gosh. He's huge. Yeah. He's absolutely massive. And this is just, a lot of our reptiles kind of come like that. People don't want to take care of them, can't take care of them. They reach out to us and we take them in and try and give them a good Ooh, home. You I know? want so, that. Dude, Do you I want it? Me? I'll send it out to you right now. Dude. You want to take it on the airplane? As you guys know, I'm a big ball python guy, so could you guys share a couple of ball pythons? And I yes. saw that you have a blood python. Could you bring that out as well? And the reason why yeah. I'm over here is because the lighting's so good, and if I go over there, it's gonna get really, really dark. Are you ready for this, Miguel? This yeah. is one of our biggest projects we're working on here, the Chambers mm -hmm. Residence. This is a normal ball <laughs> python. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Head, I still like the normal. I like what? them. Please I, say head something. Yeah. It's just a normal. It's no, head, head but beautiful. quadruple head what? Yeah. <laughs> quadruple yeah. head what, guys? Yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see oh. that. She was actually given to us by someone. Yeah, and guys, uh, it's a quadruple head. Just lie to them. 
<laughs> wow, look at this. This thing's beautiful. What is it again? Is a, that enough? A Cine Lesser. Dude, you guys, it's like if you guys work with reptiles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shane, you would think dude. so. I don't know if this is that crazy. We found that at PetSmart. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. 200 dude, you guys, bucks. You guys at PetSmart dude, sick. Deal of the century, man. <laughs> Uh oh. Yep. Uh oh. Yep. Here's here's big go. dog's favorites right here. Right you got to you got to watch these. Dude. And this is one of my favorite jeans too. I'm not kidding. This is our blade clown female, right here. You just gotta watch this, this little this has male. No fire in it or anything? She's head albino. Head oh, okay, albino. So that yeah okay. yeah. And this is just our little normal clown male. I love this little guy. It's such an Ooh. attitude on him. He is so cool. I love this little guy, man. He's Dude, so cool. I love these, man. Yeah, the Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's just a little Pee Wee Dude, Junior here. But I don't know, man. Just kind of watch these yourself because so he'll feisty, he'll get you. The uh, what I really like about this guy, I don't know. I've I, uh, I've seen is this. Dude, it, it was. It came in a shipment of just normal ones. Yeah, it of like, what is it, the Sumatran? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it a normal. No, it almost looks like a, I want to say a hypo because it's like yeah. pink on the sides there, but it just. The really? color, we couldn't pass it up, especially yeah. on the head like that. It just is so beautiful. He's being pretty good right now, but we're trying to get him up to cool. Dude, mine's really, really mean. Now it's tamed out a lot, but yeah. it, it was yeah. at one point you couldn't even take it out. Let me just show you on its head. It, you'll never get the image out. It's a man's chest. Yeah, look at that. With like the nips and Dude, the chest you start seeing the abs. Yeah. Dude, yeah. So last time we were here, you pulled out a dinosaur, and it was your caiman. And now you tell me it got a little oh, man. bigger and it's a little, little harder to pull out. But Dude, can you do it for the vlog. We're gonna do it for the vlog. This sounds really terrible. We got this guy super skinny, not eating very well, and I was like, man, he picked the sucker right up. Yeah. Now that he's eating and he's got some fight in him, <laughs> he's a little hell beast. Let's get him out. All right. You're magic. Okay, here we go. Hospital bound. No, I'm just kidding. He's, <laughs> he's been pretty good. They say that the Caymans will never really. Uh, Could you, you take know, me to the airport out. before you uh, go to the hospital? Yeah, maybe we should do that. Okay. Uh, don't want to get you home safe here. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him over to that side and I'll get him out of the water. There he goes. There he goes. Now this is the hard part is picking them up because they can really turn on you. Get him, Eric. Make sure. Wait a second. Shoot him a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. Shoot him. Shoot him. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mary, you got the shotgun ready there. All right. Here, let's get him now. Just gotta get him in a position where I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get it. Dude, you are right. a pro. Let's get him over here in the light. Wow. Look at this chunky monkey. Dude. Oh, oh, he's trying to get me. That's what the toke did to me. Yeah. Dude, look how purple oh that is. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Dude. Is that cool or what? Those now I, I'm not I'm not like, you know, squeezing him by the neck. I'm just kind of restraining him because look at those teeth. They will cut right through you. Now I actually took a little bit of a bite from this guy. Nothing too major. Really? Nothing too major, just on the side of the hand. But uh, this is seriously my favorite reptile that I own. Wow. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted one of these guys, and it really what took a eat? lot of. Uh, we just give him mice or rat pups, frozen thawed. Not live. No, not <laughs> just live. Like, not <laughs> live. Just you know what? Uh, not that it's bad. It's bad to feed live, but it's just easier. It's just a lot more humane. Can you imagine this thing getting a hold of something? I just, I don't like the thought of it. But look how fat he is. He's got. He's getting so, so fat, man. He seems a lot more tame too. Last time he was. Yeah, snapping. he was. I know he seems like that. That's the problem with this thing is you're like, oh, okay, he's fine, he's fine. He'll turn and grab you as soon as I let go. Uh, as soon as I move my thumb from his neck, he'll just swing and grab you. Dude, thanks but, uh, a lot, man. Dude, you're no a worries, champ, no worries. It's Seriously. pretty cool. Let's we'll put him back here, and uh, he'll swim off, and he'll be a lot happier than he is here. So this is kind of the trick here. You have to kind of let go. I just like to set him in the water. There he goes. Oh, he even turned back. Like, yeah, what's he up, homie? Back. He's like, what's up? Yeah, he's he's a gangster. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with him. Guys, thank you very much, man. That was a great, great tour. I really appreciate everything, man. I love and, when you come over. Dude, can I just live here? Yeah, yeah. please. Oh, cool, because the wife <laughs> the wife doesn't even like me at the house that much. Anyways. <laughs> no, but uh, guys. We're gonna do this a little bit different. So we appreciate all love and support, right? Dude, always. Yeah. Thank right. you guys. Deuces. Peace.